morning everybody. I've decided to vlog today for the first time in a few days because I've been really struggling to find things to film. Um, but we are in the process of moving so we're like packing most of the time anyway so it is boring and today is a boring day but I thought I would take my camera along with me anyway and see what I come up with. <laughs> Excuse how messy the bed is. <laughs> is Daddy getting you? He's dead again, you! Everyone's just going, excuse my face, excuse my face. Like taking the mic out of me, and that's what I say every time. Yes, I do. But I'm very conscious of how HD my face can be sometimes on the internet when it looks terrible. <laughs> I don't care. I do look a mess most days, but that is motherhood for you. And actually, my hair uh, is very greasy right now. Like, it really needs washing. But I've packed my dry shampoo, so... I'm just living with it and I really can't be bothered to wash it. I really, really can't. Excuse my creased bedding that um that was Damien's doing. Was what? it not? You put it on. Creased. Oh. <laughs> yeah, possibly. I mean I don't normally iron bedding, but that is Oh no. Oh no. He's okay. He hates getting changed. A little panda. <laughs> Come on. Oh dear. You're all right. I bought these the other day and he honestly thinks they're the best things ever. Like you get 24 links in them. Um, ooh. So you don't have to use all of them. Like we've made a big, um, excuse the mess, I've got my drawers open, but um, I've got them on there at the minute. Um, but yeah, you can, you can use as many as you want to use and you can attach them to anything or you can attach other toys to other things. So I'll probably do a review on them as part of um, a video I was gonna make of Harry's favourite toys because that is, although it's only a few days old, that is one of his favourites most definitely. It cost about five pounds, I'm not sure. But yeah. I was gonna film a main, oh, actually it's not too bad. This camera's quite good. It looks a lot brighter on the camera than it actually is in here. It's really, really dark and dull. So I was gonna film a um, sit down video today. This is our living room currently, it's literally a mess, <laughs> an absolute mess. And the dog has like pulled up the sofa again. It's just carnage. And then Archie's bed is on the other sofa out of the way and he's defluffed that. Haven't you, Arch? Did you defluff it? Did you defluff a bed? Naughty boy. And we've got no curtains. Everything's all ready to go almost. We've got a um, mirror so that he, well, so that we can see him, but he looks at himself and he thinks it's the best thing ever. He thinks there's a baby in there. Who's the baby in the mirror? Who's the baby in the mirror? Look! Can you see him? I'm having to sit in the back with him um, today because it was bottle time. <laughs> but we we're trying to go out because Jamie's got a football on in well, 20 minutes. So he's probably going to miss some now. But... You up? This is program start to Okay, so he won't actually be on till after 12. So, yeah, um, Damon's an Arsenal fan and Arsenal are on. We're going to Sainsbury's because um, we're going to a christening tomorrow, but I've packed all of my clothes and any clothes that I could potentially dig out will not fit me anymore because I've gained many a dress size since I last wore a dress. So, um, I'm going to go and see if I can find something. I know Sainsbury's is not like the most exotic place to shop for a dress, but I cannot be bothered. I really can't be bothered to go to town on a Saturday because it's always so busy. So, we'll just see what, what's there. You know, it's not, it just needs to be something a bit more smart than what I've already got, which is not a lot. You got milkies on your strap. Uh oh. I absolutely just love his milk drinking face. I don't know why I think it's so cute, but it just is. I don't want you to ever stop drinking milk. It's so cute. Finn, good boy. We've managed to, um, I don't know if I've said it before, but we've managed to move him onto normal milk now as opposed to reflux milk because he had the reflux milk because he was very, very, very sicky, like throwing up every bottle. Um, and since he's now seven months, I thought he must have grown out of it by now. So I chanced it and bought a box of stage one milk because I'm not sure about going to stage two yet. And he's fine, no sick at all, so I can't believe it. 
but it's good because it means I don't have to wait seven minutes now for his bowl to thicken because <laughs> that was a pain when he was like upset and I had to wait the seven minutes. This is a real problem where we live is that every time we go anywhere we get stopped by trains. <laughs> there's like a road here and then there's a road that way a bit and they both have train tracks and you can't really <laughs> you can't really avoid them. <laughs> Excuse me. Kids, all the cool kids they see to fit in. <laughs> Hi. Hi baby. Harry. Hello my baby. You my favourite boy. Are you my favourite boy? You are. You my favourite boy. That milky mouth. Yeah. Um, cool kids song is on the radio and it always reminds me of my friend Hannah at work who always likes to point out that this is my song and that I want to be like the cool kids so <laughs> Harry looks so cute in his big boy pram that's another good thing with these links is you can just literally link them to anything so it seems him throwing them out the pram or you could even link a toy onto them to stop him throwing the toy out of the pram <laughs> so they're really handy forcing Damien to look at baby clothes even though we can't actually afford them. <laughs> I was like, I'm just having a look. That's really cute though. Oh, there's just so many things. It's mainly girl stuff. And, oh yeah, no, here's boy stuff. Oh, look at those. Tell daddy you want some of those. <gasps> Little shit. I just love baby clothes. I'm obsessed. I think uh, Daddy's just caused Harry to be sick by zooming around with him in the pram. Spinning you around, and now that we've had an accident, haven't we? <laughs> it was fun most of last. Daddy's fault. <laughs> wow. Wow. The purple lights. <laughs> Someone's having a bit of a tantrum. What's the matter? Oh, not that face. Not that face. What's the matter? <laughs> All the faces. We've been packing for hours. There's absolute carnage in here. Oh, what are you doing, Archie? <laughs> my pajamas, so excuse me. Um, I've got my mum and sister round in there helping me with the packing. Just like four pairs of hands. It's just it really helps having more people. So. Oh. But it's just a nightmare. We just have so much stuff. Like, you don't realise how much stuff you actually have until you're trying to sort it all out and pack it and get rid of it. Oh, dear me. We've given in with the packing now. We've decided that enough is enough for today. <laughs> we've done the um, bedroom. We've done... Well, we've sorted out all of our drawers. We've done the kitchen. Um, sorted all of Harry's clothes out, like what he needs for the next week and what, we, what we're going to take with us but what's happening is we're moving to where we're moving to for two months just two months I've already explained but this one sold and we need to be gone and then the, the new house that we've bought we're just waiting to move into that one in two months so we're like trying to sort out our packing in a way that we've got stuff for storage um, my friend is nicely lending us her garage because she doesn't use it um so we're gonna put everything in there as storage and then we've got stuff to take um with us so yeah but i really don't feel too good at the moment i'm in my pajamas and it's like five o'clock <laughs> basically this morning at about 4 30 a.m harry woke up so i went over to his cot and put his dummy in um, and he was he was fine, but as I went over to his cot, I like stumbled. You know, like if you've been out drinking and you're like 
you wake up in the night for a drink and you're really kind of like ugh and you kind of stumble around it was like that but I was like Jesus <laughs> I don't even I haven't even had a drink um so I was like okay and then I thought maybe if I walk to the toilet and see how I am when I walk to the toilet and I went to walk to the toilet and it honestly felt like I was like half paralyzed like my legs were just like I don't know they were like I could barely lift them off the ground and I just felt really, really dizzy and really like confused. So I went to the toilet, sat there for a few minutes trying to like compose myself. Came back to the bedroom and it was the same the whole way back to bed. Back to bed. So I'm there obviously like frantically Googling it, like why can't I move my legs? What's going on? Like why do I feel so like dizzy and weird? And then I woke up, I thought I'll just sleep on it. And because all that I was reading was like brain tumor this bloody cerebral hemorrhage that that and I was like I'm just scaring myself it's probably nothing and then I thought I'll just sleep on it and then in the morning I'll probably be fine but I wasn't and then um throughout the day we went to Sainsbury's earlier and that was the first time I started to actually feel a bit better I felt like I could walk properly I still felt a bit like dizzy but I wasn't it wasn't anything too bad and then we've been packing for hours and now I feel really bad again like I feel like really weak it's like my arms are really heavy, my legs are heavy. I don't feel like I've got any kind of, like somebody said it could be flu symptoms, but I don't feel like, I don't feel ill, there's nothing wrong with me. Like I thought maybe an ear infection because I've got like, I'm like I'm dizzy, but I'm not, I'm not dizzy when I'm laying here. Normally when I'm dizzy, like the room spins around, but nothing like that is happening. It's just when I'm walking, I just can't seem to keep my balance. So, oh, so it means that. Well, it's a good job Damien's home because otherwise I'd have had to lift Harry and stuff. But he's going to have to lift Harry for me because I don't want to like pass out while he's in my arms or like cut, like my legs collapse or anything. So I'm just going to lay here for an hour and maybe have a nap because Harry's not actually here at the minute. He's at um, my friend Joe's house who lives around the road, and she's she's going to keep him till this evening. So we could have a bit of time to like pack and do whatever and so that's that's good so yeah very weird <laughs> Archie hello darling you just come back from his walk he always comes upstairs to tell me that he's been have you been for a walk baby <laughs> look at your big ears skinny old bed he's the background mess so we're going to a christening tomorrow like I've already said a million times but um I've just left all the stuff that we need for tomorrow out on the top of unit thingy. <laughs> Hachi, are you alright my boy? Are you alright? <laughs> you can hear Damien downstairs I think. He thinks he's being fed. I don't think you are being fed. I think you've already been fed. Oh your nose is cold. Oh. Don't come get in the covers. Damien's just bought me cheesy knocky in bed. And Harry is currently sleeping next to us until we transfer him to his bed he does have a good chunk of his bottle though that I want him to finish before I put him in bed anyway uh, we're just gonna finish eating our tea it's like mm, half eight now and then I'm gonna go and have a bath and then go to bed so good night and I will see you tomorrow